while eating meat gives us bigger muscles and stronger bones. It is also linked to increased risk of cancer, heart diseases, diabetes and obesity. So, is non-vegetarian food healthy or not? Animal protein is a complete protein, meaning it provides all the nine essential amino acids. Lean meat contains 25 to 30 percent protein by weight, and that's huge. The nearest vegan alternative is quinoa with 18 percent protein by weight. Meat is a very good source of vitamin B12, a nutrient whose presence is limited in vegetarian alternatives and even more limited in vegan alternatives. Vitamin B12 is important to keep nerves and blood cells healthy and also to make DNA. In a vegetarian diet, you can get vitamin B12 from milk and milk products. But in a vegan diet, you will have to resort to fortified foods and milks. Meat is also a very good source of iron and zinc and zinc really boosts your testosterone. And it also has low carbs and that's why bodybuilders are so crazy after it. Well, this was the sweet side of meat. Well, not exactly sweet. Sweets are unhealthy. This was the healthier side of meat. Let's talk of the devil now. While meat is rich in amazing nutrients like protein, vitamin B12, iron and zinc, it is also rich in fats. Hundreds of studies have been carried out on the effect of meat on health. Some observational studies link high red meat intake to several types of cancer. Digestive tract, prostate, kidney cancer, colon and breast cancer as well. But I wonder how can meat cause cancer? Doesn't it sound absurd? It is not the meat that causes cancer, but it is the way meat is cooked which causes it. When meat is grilled, barbecued or smoked at high temperatures, fat is released and it trips onto the hot cooking surfaces. This produces toxic compounds called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons PAHs, which can rise and seep into the meat. And it is these PAHs which are carcinogenic, means they cause cancer. However, by minimizing the smoke and quickly wiping away the drippings, you can reduce the formation of PAH by 89%. Also, when meat is heated to high temperatures, a dark crust forms over it. And now, this meat contains heterocyclic aromatic amines, HAAs, which are also found to be carcinogenic in long-term animal studies. HAAs can also form when meat is chill stored or ripened in the fridge for many days, that is, the processed meats. Some studies also state that it is the processed meat which is unhealthy and not exactly the red meat. Processed meats also consists of nitrites as additives and these are also carcinogenic. However, some researchers disagree on this point. In conclusion, we can say that there was an association between cancer and PAH and HAAs and not exactly the meat itself. So overall, these studies indicate that there is an increased risk of cancer with intake of processed meats and high heated meats. Consumption of meat is also linked to increased risk of heart diseases. Large observational studies have found out increased incidence of heart diseases among people who consume more processed meat. In 2010, researchers performed a massive review of 20 studies including over 1.2 million people. They found that consuming processed but not red meat appeared to increase the heart disease risk by 42%. Similarly, many observational studies relate red and processed meat consumption with increased risk of diabetes and obesity. On the contrary, several studies have indicated that a low-carb diet which is high in meat content can in fact reduce sugar levels and even weight. These contradictory findings are not a surprise in the field of nutrition. There are literally hundreds of studies that have tried to find the effect of meat on health. Majority of them have found a negative relation with high consumption, overheated and processed meats. But some of them have found a neutral or even positive relation. And the evidence of all these studies is considered weak because these are all observational studies where you simply observe a large group of people and relate their diet with their health. Since you cannot control the diet and exercise pattern of people for decades to go, a randomized controlled trial is extremely difficult in this space. So most of the nutrition evidence is based on observational studies where you can find a pattern 
but you cannot conclude anything with 100% certainty. However, in the current case, there is more than sufficient evidence to conclude that meat does more bad than good to majority of the human population. World Health Organization, World Cancer Research Fund International, American Heart Association, American Cancer Society, and many other recommend eating meat in moderation, based on many studies. Even this is the general consensus among doctors around the world. So guys, summing it all up, meat has benefits for muscle and bone health. It is rich source of zinc, iron, vitamin B12 and omega-3 fatty acids. And meat is definitely a more convenient source of all these nutrients, but not the only source. You can get all of these nutrients from a vegetarian diet as well and a vegan diet, a plant-based vegan diet as well. At the same time, processed meat and high heated red meat increases the risk of cancer, diabetes, heart diseases and obesity. And although white meat is considered largely safe in most of the studies, but some studies do suggest that it is no different from red meat. So guys, speaking from an isolated health point of view, in order to maximize benefits and minimize the risk, it is better to choose non-processed meat avoid high heat cooking and include some plant-based products in your diet. Ultimately, your diet is your choice, but while you make that choice, do consider the disastrous effects of meat and dairy products on the environment, which is highlighted in this video, and the increased risk of pandemics from factory farming, which is highlighted in this video, and the ethical dilemma, which will be coming up in the next video. Do let me know your thoughts, observations, or contradictions in the comment box. Also, do you like this format? Do you want me to make videos more in English, Hindi or Hinglish? Do give me your valuable feedback. Some big western non-vegetarian YouTubers have made videos taking up the 30 days vegan challenge and they have all explained the changes in their health and all. So I would highly recommend you guys to watch those videos. The links to those videos are in the description box. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share this video with your radically veg and non-vegetarian friends and health conscious friends as well. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. All the links are there in the description box. Do check out my profiles. You can find all the references to all the studies and golden articles in the description box. And guys, thanks for watching. See you in my next video.